Swedish slave trade. Have you ever heard anyone utter those words? If yes, I think that makes you quite unique because I'm Swedish, I did my K-12 education in the Swedish school system, and I'd never heard of it. Why was there slavery to begin with? Well, the most basic purpose of slavery is to rid oneself of work and force the hideous labor upon someone else. Since the time of our more primitive era, societies have taken slaves from war and conquest and forced them to do their workaday tasks. From the 16th to the 19th centuries, slavery was predominantly about maximizing revenue though. If there are no labor costs, you can maximize the revenue and the profit. Why is it important to learn about slavery? Well, remembering slavery allows us to imagine the unimaginable and to reconsider the enslavement. It's important because its legacy still continues to cast a shadow over the future of many countries in North and South America. We also have to learn about the history of marginalized people, and not just learn about what makes a country great, as we primarily do in school, but also learn about a country's black pages of history. That's imperative. So why Swedish slave trade? Sweden wasn't a big actor in the global triangular slave trade, which took place between the 16th to the 19th century. True that, Sweden only played a minor role, but that doesn't mean Sweden's role was insignificant and that we can just forget about Sweden's role because other countries played a bigger one. So in this series we learn about the Swedish slave trade which took place during the 16th to the 19th centuries. We learn about the slave trade at Cabo Corso. Saint Bartholomew and New Sweden. Who am I? Well, I'm Edwin Palmer. I'm an educator and I hope you join me on my quest for the truth.